Well, are we ready to open today's egg? So if we look inside our egg box, today's egg is going to be the yellow one. So why don't you get that? And let's have a look and see what's inside. Now they're quite fiddly today, the things inside, so be very careful. And inside we have a very little bottle of wine and a very little, see if you can see exactly what it is, piece of bread. Now, when have you seen in church bread and wine? When have you seen us use something like this in church? Well, we use it most weeks at communion. At communion is a, something we do to remember Jesus' death, remember what Jesus did for us in bringing us back to God. And it was Jesus himself who gave us this sign to remember his death, the bread and the wine. And he did it at the meal we heard about yesterday, the Last Supper, the last meal that Jesus was having with his friends and followers before he died. And Jesus knew he was going to die. Jesus knew that after this meal, he was going to be arrested, beaten and killed. Because this was all part of God's plan, all part of God's plan to save us. So he wanted to give his friends and followers a sign, a sign to remember his death. Remember this being part of God's plan. So during the meal, there would have been bread and wine all around. He took the bread, he blessed it, he thanked God for it. And then he broke it and gave it to his disciples to eat. And he said, this is my body broken for you. Jesus knew his body was going to be broken when he was arrested, beaten up and killed. And then he took some wine and he said, this is my blood poured out for you. Jesus knew that when he died, his blood was going to be poured out. And this wine was going to be, Jesus' blood, was going to be a sign of the promise between us and God, that God would save us. So Jesus gave us this very important sign to remember his death. And remember that promise between us and God, that God could save us because of it. And still to this day, Christians all around the world use bread and wine in their services to remember Jesus' death, remember what he did for us. So as we remember this sign and what Jesus was about to do for us, let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this great act of love that you did for us. Your body broken and your blood poured out for us. And we thank you that you gave us this sign to remember what you did. Help us to always remember what you did for us. Amen. And join us tomorrow for what will be a very sad day as we look at Good Friday, the day that Jesus was arrested, beaten and killed.